So a few months ago, I don't know if y'all remember, when there was a school shooting in uh, Mansfield, Texas. Oh, yeah, I remember. She called me. She called me terrified, crying. And, um, and she said, Mom, I went to go talk to uh, uh, my teacher, my male teacher, uh, because I felt secure about him, uh, you know, talking to him about it. As she was walking to his room, he was talking to another teacher, telling the other teacher, I know uh, there's a man that I would call during this time, you know, in, you know, back in the day. And the teacher said, well, you know, you know, who is this man? He said, Bishop Omar Jawa. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Children, um, been dealing with the loss of your husband with two years has passed now. Uh, I'll begin course. with the youngest. Uh, the youngest is now uh, 17. And so we've all entered into uh, into therapy. And uh, she was the hardcore, I got this, I don't need nobody, I'm, I'm good. So she started talking and started opening up just a little bit. But here in the last uh, month or so, in the, excuse me, in the last month, <clears throat> she's had competitions to where she would finish her competition and she would have an anxiety attack. So it would just, it would just hit her like out of nowhere. And um, she would just begin to weep and cry. And um, I just want my daddy. I want my daddy. I, I, I know when I perform, when I graduate, when I get married, when I have my children, my dad will never be a part of my life in the physical. And so this is, this is settling into her. It's like a, a reality check. It's kind of coming like I'm, I'm a year away from graduation. I'm a year away from going into college. And, you know, I'm a few months away from getting my driving license. And, th and, and my dad is not here. So my 17-year-old uh, is really struggling, um, but she's a hard worker. She, she's the hardest. <laughs> uh, but, um, but as far as missing her dad, it's that I need him. I need to talk to him. There are some questions that I want to ask. And so she has father figures in her life, but it's nothing like your dad. Well, and so a few months ago, I don't know if y'all remember, when there was a school shooting in uh, Mansfield, Texas. Oh, yeah, I remember. She called me. She called me terrified, crying. And, um, and she said, Mom, I went to go talk to uh, uh, my teacher, my male teacher, uh, because I felt secure about him, uh, you know, talking to him about it. As she was walking to his room, he was talking to another teacher, telling the other teacher, I know uh, there's a man that I would call during this time, you know, in, you know, back in the day. And the teacher said, well, you know, you know, who is this man? He said, Bishop Omar Jawa, not knowing that our daughter was outside of his door, needing to talk to him about what was going on because all of the emotions was running high. So she just burst out in tears and he was like, I did I had no idea, you know, that you were right here. I wouldn't have, you know, it was no, you know, anything. So all of that had went on, uh, uh, but just her needing, and even like that 20-year-old, she's about to be 21, our 26-year-old, 27-year-old, our son, 28, all of them were still very much, I'm going to say struggling. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think any, any one of us are on the other side of this healing. I think it's still a process because, um, Right before my husband transitioned, he was getting ready to go to an assistant living. So we never thought about death. We never planned a funeral. We never planned to live without him. And so when March 11th happened, it's like, okay, now you have no choice. Mm. I think, um, you know, when you look at his presence, and like I said, when I started to research him, because I never knew him before all of this transpired, when Corey came over here. Um, that was my first time ever hearing of him. And uh, and it's crazy because when he passed away, I seen it on CNN that he had passed away. Wow. And um, I seen his presence was big, you know, mm -hmm. um, not just for you guys, but more so for you guys, but for just the people who he pretty much touched, he had influenced in a whole nother level type of way. And I think that's something that pretty much... Uh, you know, it stuck with me. So when I did get to talk with you or when I did get to uh, sit with you, I, I, I definitely understood that it was a big deal for you and for your family having to be in the house now by yourself, having to try to raise these kids and stuff by yourself. Um, but having a village, that's fine, but they can't take the place of a Bishop Omar. And, 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 this, and the billboards up on the highways. You couldn't, I seen the billboards, you know, like I said, I didn't know him before he passed, but once he passed away, I started to see this guy everywhere. Well, I say before, because the night before is when I met Corey, and that's when he had told me about Bishop Omar. 
Uh, he had sent me some stuff early on, maybe a week before, about everybody that was with OGU. And yeah. so he was trying to, uh, you know, he was trying to get me in there. But at any rate, uh, <laughs> and I did, you know, I did. Uh, I, I was very much uh, honored to be a part of even the ending process of, of what, what all had been going on with OGU. And just being there to see what you guys had accomplished, man, uh, it was great for me. So thank you guys for that. You You're know, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. And then I came to the gala and y'all would <coughs> thought y'all was fresh. They was walking around, you know, with the little old, you know, smiles on their faces and oh yeah, they sitting in their seats and they're getting awards. You should have seen them. Did you see them? Mm-hmm. Okay. I enjoyed that too. <laughs> I, I really did. Good I deal. mean, so, and I met that, that lady, the one that came here that, hmm. what was her name? Hmm. Is that McKin- McKinley. McKinley, Dr. McKinley. Dr. McKinley. Okay. Yeah. You do you remember her? Not really. She's uh she had a heck of a story. I don't even want to bring it up. Woo, but we done had some people sitting in that seat right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but God, you know what I'm saying? But God. You know, but he's God. the one that can help us to understand why the people come to us that God sent to us. You right. know. Um we uh we definitely knew that how was it ch- just going and dealing with the members of the church and having to try to I know you you've had some hills to climb that's what that I that's just what I won't complain so I've had some mm. hills to climb yeah she done had some hills to climb yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I mean you know didn't nobody I know a lot of folks left you know some folks get up and leave they think they're doing something I'm you know what I'm not fit to be in here with her. I'm going to get up and go. I don't have time for this. And then they walk out, and then next thing you know, they somehow have them call you. Hey, man, you know, that they, they get convicted in the spirit. Mm-hmm. I didn't mean, you know, I, we, yeah, I'm, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. how has that been, like, like dealing with the, the members, the ones who uh, stayed the course, too, but also the ones that left and may have even came back? How has it been dealing with the people that God had in you guys' life? Wow, that has really been tough uh, because my husband and I, we're both, we're both people people. So we are very social. We love hard. Uh, we forgive easily. Um, and so just to have someone in your life one day and the next day they're out has been hard. Or they come back. Or they'll, they'll say something that you didn't say. So it's all kind of stuff that's going on. And, um, but yet you're still having to get up and give him a word. Yeah. Yeah. It's with love and kindness. Have, have he, has he drawn us? And so even with that, you still have to, I have to come out of Anita a lot and say, God, I don't, I don't want to bury Anita. I want to pick, I want to pick Anita. I want to wear Anita today. I want to mm-hmm. put Anita hat on today, God. But I know I can't. Mm-hmm. And, um, a few times I did. Now we're gonna be honest. A few times want, I did yeah, step. I step, yeah. stepped into Anita. Yeah. Uh, but for the majority of part, I had to uh, uh, eat eat a lot of carpet. And what I mean by that, I had to do a lot of praying. Yeah. I had to do a lot of praying, a lot of fasting, a lot of going before God, uh, because people are really finicky. One day they with you, and the next it ain't even the next day. And the thirty seconds or thirty minutes later, they with somebody else. Correct. Or they'll or they'll be with you privately. Mm-hmm. And not publicly, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so when it came to the church, that's somehow how it was. Like I sneak in, or maybe I join Zoom, or I just talk to you and just say I'm your member, but I won't show up publicly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it's like, uh, and then as soon as something would come into their life, then it's like oh, you my pastor. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, well, I wasn't your pastor yesterday or last week or, you yeah. know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so it, it made it really difficult. But at the end of the day, I know that I have to serve God and I have to serve his purpose, regardless of who's in it or who's not. And God will reveal it. He'll, mm. he'll, you know, he'll reveal the real from the fake. Mm. And so we're not going around. I wonder if she's with me or I wonder if he's with me. God, God and I already said he's not with you yeah. or she's not with you, but yeah. I want you to still love them. Yeah. Exactly, because you have to give them that word, even when they're so-called not with you. If God sent them to you, you have to remain that person that God intend for you to be and give them that kind word all the time so that they can see the realness in you. You know what I mean? Because anywhere mm-hmm. else they go, they might not be getting that. Mm-hmm. They're gonna, their eyes are going to be open sooner or later anyway. You know, um, let, me go, let me go. Go uh, ahead. 
in John, the book of John, it talks about uh, Jesus telling them about he was the manna. And they couldn't get that, boy. They, we Abraham seed. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> they were not trying to hear this. Uh, but then they would say, we we know, we with Moses. You know, they, they wanted to understand, but then they didn't want to go into the place where Jesus was trying to connect them to him. And he was saying, I am that manna. I am that bread that was sent down from heaven. And then 6 and 66 of John, they say many of them turned back. Mm-hmm. And they didn't follow him no longer. And he looked at Peter and them and the 12 disciples. He said, will you leave me also? And they said, uh, Peter said, to whom will we go? You know, he was quick to jab. He say, uh, <laughs> I the, uh, you are the, you know, you are the Christ. Right. And, and, you know, and pretty much you, you know, you're the key to eternal life is what he was uh, alluding to. And one thing I can say about that. And after that, they moved on. But then I'm thinking about the fact that after Jesus ended up going back to be on that cross when John was standing there and the ma and the mother and, and, and all this was happening. Right. Uh, then these people was coming around and, 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 and looking and he was a mockery to them. Did some of these same people, I guarantee it, the Pharisees and the scribes and the whole group of all the stuff that was going on. Then fast forward to him dying and then uh, resurrecting and, and all this good stuff happens. Then Peter ends up at the gate of beautiful and many getting saved in acts. And you start to see all of them come back all I'm saying is this is the part of what goes on when you're dealing with God. That's right. People leave, people come, people go, people move. There's problems, there's issues, and all of these things are happening yes. because this is life. Real. So we just got to be dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? You're right. You're right. It is life. <laughs> but it's, a, it's, it's easier said than done. It's part of life. And when you think you got it all back together, now Ananias and Sapphira shows up and start lying to the Holy Ghost. Wow. And we still having issues with this August panel, this church, these mm-hmm. people that have been put together, 3,000 would say, but there's still issues. Yeah. And this is a part of who we serve. We serve God. We serve God. And this is a part of it. So when I hear you talking about that, I understand that these are the things that show us that this stuff builds us as well. Right. Paul said, my strength. He, he, God had told him, my strength is perfected in your weakness. Yeah. So when you go through things that make you uh, get into Anita, uh-huh. but then get out of Anita, this is a part of that thorn. You see what I mean? <laughs> You go get in a needle. I, I, I fell in a needle. Then I got out. I, I was right back in the spirit because this yeah. is what we do, man. That's but right. it makes us stronger. Right? Right. Right. So right. I, I, I thank God for that, man. The relationship, the personal relationship with God is yeah. what holds us on. Right. Mm-hmm. So I thank God for that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I this do. might be one of the only shows where we put Jesus first. You know what I mean? It, uh, I, I don't I know. It. I don't know. I just know we we don't care about acting a fool one day and then come <laughs> back and Jesus sitting right here with us. He say, you know what? I never leave you nor forsake you. <laughs> come on, you know now. what I'm saying? <laughs> and even though you was acting up, we still love you. Yeah. And, and that's just a part of it. Yeah. you. You done been a needer. I done I been have. elves. I done been. I, and and then I'm still right. with. I still love God. Still love God. I'm like Peter. I'm still a rock. Okay. Even though I was messing up, I'm still a rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.